Now we have the metric section, the metric unit. That's what they use in basically the rest of the world. Basically the rest of the world. There's only three countries that use customary. America is one of them. Most of the world uses metric. So the length, one kilometer is 1,000 meters. One meter is 100 centimeters and one centimeter is 10 millimeters. There are other lengths, but those are the basic ones that you're gonna be seeing. If you have questions, ask Ms. Messenger, Ms. Sontag, or Ms. Posey, or Ms. Gobriel. For mass, that's weight. Mass is weight, how heavy things are. One kilogram is 1,000 grams. One gram is 1,000 milligrams. Easy enough to remember there. And then capacity again is volume. One liter is 1,000 milliliters. Again, there are more for mass and capacity, but those are the basic ones that you're gonna be seeing most often. All right, um, sorry, let me grab my pen. We're still solving these problems the exact same way. It's just now we have different numbers. So I still want to set up my word ratio. And I want to compare that to the conversion information. And I want to set that equal to what I'm trying to solve for. Write these things on the bottom every time you solve these problems to help you remember what goes where. The more little things like this you do, the higher chance you have of getting the problem right. So problem number seven, it says I have nine meters and I want to know how many centimeters that is. So my word ratio, I'm comparing meters and centimeters. Meters and centimeters. Based on my information up here, I see that one meter is 100 centimeters. One meter is 100 centimeters. And in my problem, I have nine meters. I wanna know how many centimeters that is. Go ahead and solve it whichever way makes your heart happy. Pause the video, check back with me in a minute. Again, it doesn't matter to me which way you solve these problems, just as long as you do it. One way that I can do it is this cross multiplication. I can do nine times 100, which is 900, and then do 900 divided by one, which is gonna give me 900 centimeters. It's a good way to check back and think. If I'm going from meters to centimeters, my unit's getting smaller, so that means my number should be getting bigger. The smaller the unit, the bigger the number. The bigger the unit, where's the big one? The bigger the unit, the small, or the higher the number it's gonna be here. The smaller the unit, the smaller the number over here. Go ahead, pause this video. Work out those three problems. Make sure you're on the right track. And again, if you have questions ever, 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 please ask one of us for help.